morning, Northern Wisconsin builders. Sam here again with RVI. Um, another little bit about our bibs insulation. We love the product, that's all we install. Uh, it's got a lot of versatility and a lot of real good things going for it. And if you've watched some of the past videos, you're kind of getting the idea of why we stick with this product. Uh, what I'm gonna talk about today is um, using bibs for sound attenuation. Uh, in most of the jobs we do, it's common. People want insulation between bathrooms and bedrooms and laundry rooms and hallways. Uh, to separate that sound. For years, we just used fiberglass batting. Um, a lot of us still do today. Stuff fiberglass batting in the cavity, sheetrock it, and move on. A lot of times I get calls from customers, hey, we had a house built a year ago or a couple years ago, and we asked the builder to put sound insulation on the walls. Um, we don't think he did. Uh, can you guys retrofit that into the walls? 99% of the time when I go meet a client like that, what I find is that Builder did do what he said he was gonna do and he did put fiberglass batting in the walls, um, but it's making no difference. So naturally we think there's nothing in there. We used to fall into the same category. We would put fiberglass bats in the walls and that was our sound insulation, but we've learned that as with our exterior wall thermal insulation, Bibs is superior again to batting. Um, so this is actually a sound wall. Uh, these are bathrooms on this side of the wall. Um, and as you can see, uh, we've bibbed this. Uh, the reason is, again, it comes down to filling the cracks and voids. When you have any voids or gaps in a batted system, uh, sound will reverberate right through that gap. So you insulate this entire wall and have one crack next to an outlet or a receptacle, all the sound in that room is going to come through that device. Uh, what we've learned is that by meshing the walls, now we have to mesh both sides of the walls in these cases, unless of course we're lucky enough to have drywall hung on one side, but that's not usually the case. Um, as we fill this wall, we fill behind every outlet and every device, we fill every crack and void um, again, you can see here, we have some framing that stops here. Imagine how that would look with batting. Uh, I don't have an example to show you, but I think we all know how that would look. So now your bat insulated sound wall has a void in it, um, and you can hear all the going ons from room to room. So again, uh, just another reason why Bibs is superior to any other product on the market.